Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. I'm just going to touch up on uh, one thing about the last video. If you watched the last video, we have this if-else statement. And it says if this is true, we want to run the code right here. And if it's not true, we want to run what's under else. Alright, so this is just one case. So what if we wanted to test out a bunch of if statements? Alright, the way we would do that is we could say if x is equivalent to no let's say if x is less than uh, 10 something along those lines and also another thing is we don't really need these parentheses okay that's more of a preference it works without or with the parentheses um, people tend to like Python because it's so user friendly and, and quick to type so if that's an extra key you don't want to have to hit and just type as fast as you can you don't necessarily need it for me it's just kind of habit so I was using it but we can say if X is less than 10 uh, let's print out um, X is less than 10 and then if we want to have another if statement because right now we're just testing if that's true or false and if it's false we go straight to that else but what if we want to test if it's something else what we can do is this thing called elif and what it means is else if so it's saying else if x is greater than 10 we can run this code so let's say print x is greater than 10 All right. And we do need uh, parentheses around this because of the print function. And also, you're going to notice that your syntax is not correct when you try to run a program and you get this. So let's run module. And I got an invalid syntax and it had a little noise it made. So you know that it's not correct. Let's go back here, fix it real quick. All right, so now what we have is we have if this is true, and if it's not true we're gonna go down to this else if this is true and if that's not true then we'll go to this else and we don't always need an else statement by the way but we could have multiple else if statements but uh, not really for this one but if you wanted to check a word that somebody inputted and we wanted to check if it was equivalent to a couple other words or something along those lines we could have a bunch of if and elif statements All right, so for this last one let's just say x equals 10 alright so let's run that real quick save it run module and x is less than 10 let's open that file back up and let's make x uh, 20 so now let's run through this real quick when I set x equal to 20 so the variable x is holding the value 20 so just kind of think of it as putting this 20 right here is 20 less than 10 no so that's a false statement so we're gonna bypass this code and go to this next L if statement so 20 is greater than 10 that's true so it will run this code right here X is greater than 10 and we will not go to this else statement so let's uh, save that and run it real quick so X is greater than 10 and if neither of those cases are true so let's just say that x is equal to 10 so is 10 less than 10 no skip that l if 10 is greater than 10 no skip that so let's just print x equals 10 because if it's not bigger or smaller it must be 10 so i think i haven't saved it yet so save run module and x is equal to 10 so that's another useful thing that we can do with conditionals is add this elif statement which pretty much stands for else if so there's a couple characters you don't have to type out where you just combine them kinda to make this funny looking keyword elif and what we're gonna do is just test if that's true if it's not true we'll go to the elif and we can have multiple 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 elifs might not be fun to type but you can have it and then we can have an else statement we don't need an else statement and that is the basic syntax of it. Uh, hopefully we will get into loops in the next tutorial. And I hope this helped you out, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe below. Much more to come.